Hello my Sayo Knights, welcome back to another video where today we will be reacting to Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest episode 15. Now we're still in the process of figuring out this whole thing, I'm still trying to make sure that we're able to potentially stream reactions live on Twitch, so that is in the works. Um, and I did take a little bit of a break, I went on vacation with my parents, um, to the glorious place known as Disney World, so, um, I have a couple reactions to film, I still have to get to those, um, I didn't forget about them, I just took a little bit of a break, and also I took a step back in terms of making content, because I feel like right now, I am almost there, you know, I'm almost a big sensation on YouTube. I hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm almost monetized. But there's some things I think I could do a little bit better um, and that includes the video format, it includes how fast I produce these videos to post onto YouTube and how I can integrate more of my Twitch streams to make that happen. So uh, that are things in the works um, and uh, just want to let you guys know that because I'm hard at work Maybe next week we'll have it solidified. I'll announce that we will be reacting to Fairy Tale Wonder Years Quest live among some of the other shows I'm watching this season, like Don Machi and ReZero. And uh, yeah, that's just that's the first part. And uh, yeah, that's just it. So without further ado, I've been rambling on long enough. I still need to get faster on sort of the conversations. I'm excited to see what happens because we have. The final orb broken from the wood dragon god. And so what's gonna happen? Is he gonna show his true form and try and do a final showdown with us? How are we gonna beat Toka the White Mage? Especially since she still has Mest who can teleport. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, so without further, without further ado, let's get straight into the reaction. Okay, so it seems like we have something here. <laughs> so this is like a little bit of a side story I see with Wendy. I think it's funny Wendy's freaking out over a little bug when she had to fight like that nightmarish dragon slayer from the last couple of episodes. <laughs> See, and I don't mind these side stories because it does add some padding to the overall episode, so... Oh, Urza? <laughs> no, don't let Urza handle it. <laughs> I feel really bad things are about to happen. Yeah, I know she's gonna get upset. <laughs> Is she gonna like break her apartment? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> yep. I called it, I called it. Classic Urza. <laughs> I kind of like that. And then we're back to that new opening, which I actually, it's growing on me. Um, I like sort of, it's sort of a reflection of how far we've come um, in fairy tale, so that's cool. Especially New Horizons. Yep. We have some new characters too, that's exciting, you know? Like, what are those guys? Are they connected to the Wood Dragon God? Uh, yeah, we have Jalal. See, the question I have is like, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna have the fairy tale, member, fairy tale members who are being brainwashed by the White Mage like, join the party for the 100 Years Quest or are they gonna return back to Magnolia? Like, that, that's what I'm interested to know. Uh, yeah, so there's Wendy. I think what's cool too is also they get a lot of new forms. I think that's what Fairy Tale does so well is that, you know, call it Shonen junk all you want. 
it knows what's entertaining and, and that includes you know power-ups different looks for characters look at whatever gray's doing right there or wendy you know using urza's mom uh you know uh irene yeah <laughs> i blinked at her name for a second it's irene <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see what Natsu, how Natsu levels up, especially because he has to fight that fire dragon god. That's Igneal's son, right? That was revealed. Okay, yes, we're continuing on. The last orb has been broken by Mest. Yes. And why do I feel like it's not gonna seal him? Is this gonna unlock a new phase for him, like a defensive mode? Yeah. And that's where we left off last time, is the destruction of that last orb. Okay. Let's see what the title is. The Howling Earth. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> that does not sound good. Yep, that's definitely not good. A little bit of property damage there. Just a little bit. People in town. Hmm, interesting. Wait. Are they... Whoa. So are they like plant humans then? Like plant hybrid humans? Okay. Made himself immobile on purpose. Is it gonna be like the water dragon god where he feels bad for what happened? Ooh. To defeat Alderons. I knew it! <laughs> That's not good. That's kind of freaky. Oh. Oh. Are they all seeds in the town? Okay, I don't think so. There's just a couple of them. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That's kind of scary. Um... Yeah. I think you guys made a big mistake messing with something you didn't entirely understand. You can use magic now? Uh, was it because of Happy? Yeah, you guys are far from home. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Or did the white mage willingly let them go to save herself? That could be option too. <laughs> well, you did, Laxus. <laughs> yeah, you and your red, red lightning form. <laughs> yeah, Law's like, what? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you messed with something that you shouldn't have. Yep. Wait, who's he? Oh. 
Just in time. Get out of there, Mester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at my memory. Now focus on evacuation mess. Yeah. Yeah, be useful, Mastin. <laughs> Yeah. あなたと10日さんを分離します。うん。I think this is the moon dragon god, right? Okay, I feel like she's like one of the strongest characters in this arc. Damn. The perfect circle of the moon stand out more. Oh. Did the moonlight? That's freaky. She's probably like insanely powerful too, right? <laughs> and she's the one controlling things behind the scenes, right? See, I love plot twists like this, where it's like someone behind the scenes manipulated the manipulator, you know? The true mastermind. I just love a plot point like that. You got this, Wendy? Ooh. Irene, yep! <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> I think one of the coolest parts too is like Wendy, even though she was like a newcomer later in the fairy tale series, like still up to this point, she's still an integral member of Team Natsu, right? So. I, I, I don't know, I just appreciate that from a writing perspective. Oh, wait, Natsu, are you gonna... That's what I'm talking about! Yes, he wouldn't leave someone behind, especially if they're an enemy. Okay. So that's gonna be interesting then. I wonder what's gonna happen with the white mage then. It'd be sick if she ended up like converting to be like an ally, you know, like Jalal. Yeah, and it also especially helped too against like these more powerful dragon gods, like the moon dragon that's been literally controlling everything behind the scenes. Oh, and that too, whatever that thing is. Uh. The Magic Council? Hunting the Wood Dragon God. Wait, who are these guys? Where did they come from? What? <laughs> 
Yep. Uh, very, very destructive power there. <laughs> just, just a little bit, a little bit of a dent there. Oh, you know, it'd be sick if he like wipes them all out with one swing. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is an awesome way to showcase his power. Yeah. His destructive power. Look at that. Oh, are we going to see Ignea? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they're feeling his presence is insane. Yeah, I don't get it either. <laughs> you gotta do it! <laughs> Fire Dragon King's demolitioning strike. All right, all right. <laughs> it's no good. Oh. One point of damage to Alderaan? ただ、アルドロンの体力は <laughs> Ooh. A god seed? Oh no! Are they gonna start popping up? Yeah. No, Kana! <laughs> if I were the one you consider to be the strongest of all. <laughs> okay, okay. So he basically just summoned juggernauts to take them out. Yeah. Oh no, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, or a lion may show up. So any opponent they face in the past, that's not good. Yeah, I can see why he's considered a dragon god, yeah. <laughs> and they're already defeated from their skirmish with the white mage, so... Not great. I mean, at least Jalal isn't like too badly worn out, so... Oh no! Oh, 
The one you consider the strongest of all? Oh! Is it gonna be Ignea? I think it's gonna be Ignea, right? Oh, it's happy. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the second time I get to punch happy today. <laughs> Dude, all that talk. <laughs> well, let them let them touch you, Natsu. <laughs> They'll all turn into happy. Ooh. <laughs> That's so funny. I was expecting him to think like, <laughs> like even Zeref, but no, <laughs> it's happy. <laughs> I forgot they were all trapped in the cards. All right, Gajil. <laughs> All right, counterattack. Nice. Awesome, Lizana. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. That's much better now, right? That you're not like fighting. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too many of them. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, don't say that not to. I, I feel like this time is different. Oh, is it Zeref? Okay. Okay, so now that's Zeref. I uh, see. I wonder what his plan is then, right? What what's what's not too cooking here? Um, but yeah. So let me close this. I just don't like the pop up ads, you know. And pause before music continues. Anyways, that was Fairy Tale One Hundred Years Quest Episode Seventeen, and. 
Oh my goodness, uh, I called it. I, I knew the moment it'd be too easy to beat the wood dragon god by, you know, breaking those orbs. I felt like something was off, that they were keeping things from us. And I am so happy that I am right. <laughs> it was all a ploy by the, what I assume to be the moon dragon god, um, that's been hinted at, um, both in the opening and in this episode specifically, so, uh... It's gonna be interesting to see um, what she has planned, especially if her plan gets foiled by Team Natsu here. Um, I do have a couple questions though of things I'm looking forward to this episode. I thought they did a fantastic job with showcasing, I think, the Wood Dragon God in its fullest, showcasing that, you know, his strength is literally unmatched when there's like a huge army of flying ships and they're unable to do anything to him. Especially Natsu. Natsu punching him does like one damage and he has 99 like million health or something crazy like that so uh it's just interesting to see um that we're getting towards this conclusion i feel like this is definitely the start of the third act for this arc specifically um so that's very fun especially because we got a big revelation like oh you know um she was told by this mysterious uh moon dragon god that by breaking the orbs, you can seal the wood dragon god. And that definitely was not the case. So the white mage was duped. So um, it's interested. I'm going to be interested, interested to see that now that she has been separated, thanks to Wendy's magic, um, if we're going to get both, um, you know, the actual cat form, like the 100% true self um, of Toka and... Also, the white mage as her own character. It'd be interesting to see. Um, especially since Natsu rescued her, I'm wondering if she's actually going to become a part of the main cast, which be, which would be fun, you know? Um, I think Fairy Tale, what my my theory is, is that after this, they resolve this big arc, most of the Fairy Tale members in the guild will return to Magnolia, um, and only a select few will stay with Team Natsu. I think it's going to be Gajil, Levy, and uh, Juvia. They're going to join up. And I think that the White Mage may join. And we also may get Toka in cat form being, you know, having three cats. Or technically four cats, you know. Join as part of Team Natsu here in this expedition. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from here. They're definitely going to fight some more powerful foes. So um, I think it'd be very much in their best interest to get some more allies. Especially when you have... Three more dragon gods to fight. And if things are getting intense now with this wood dragon god who can literally... I think his defensive magic is way more powerful than the water dragon god could ever have, right? Because you can basically have, like, your army clone memories and fight, you know... Basically, you're summoning past adversaries to fight against these fairy tale members. And I think that's just such an like insanely overpowered move uh but it's cool i think it's it's great it's i i love it it's not like a slight against her i think it's actually really cool that they're doing it because the ad stakes and power scaling goes crazy like they continue to prove that there these threats still exist and the reason why they're called dragon gods is because of the power they showcase and I think both arcs, both the Water Dragon God and this arc in particular, the Wood Dragon God, have definitely showcased their strength to the fullest. And, uh, yeah. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, and, uh, I guess, I guess I'll end off by saying, like, what do you guys think of this episode? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. And, uh, I want to start, again, playing around more with Twitch streaming and converting those videos onto YouTube. So I do live reactions on Twitch, but then I can go over here on YouTube and post my reactions, usually within the span of the same the same hour. I think that'd be really dope if I can sort of get that under control. Um, and let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do more like integration, integration of my Twitch streams into YouTube content. Um, I don't know, I, 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 I've done YouTube for a while now. I love YouTube. I'm still gonna be doing YouTube videos. But I feel like I also want to start doing more Twitch because I think Twitch is also fun in its own regard. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have a couple videos to my... Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. To my 
right yes my right when you're looking at this video we do have a couple videos for you uh other reactions and such if you want to check those out i would 100 percent appreciate that i do have a playlist as well on my home page and uh, let me know um in the winter season once we end with this fall season if you want me to react to any more shows that come out um, because I'd love to do that as well. And I'd love to hear your thoughts um, on seasons. Because I want to make sort of more reaction content. And I've been rambling on long enough. Thanks for watching.